Hey, how's everybody doing out there? Welcome to Road to Happy Destiny, RTHD, with Coach Bear. I am Coach Glenn the Bear. Welcome to Friday, June 19th, 2020. And guess what? We are in Season 5, Episode 1 of RTHD. So let's see what's in store for us these 20 upcoming episodes. Man, I can barely contain myself. I'm dying to tell you. So, what we are going to do is we're going to get a little audience participation. All right? What I need for my faithful viewers to do is send me a question that you would like answered. You may send one or two questions that you would like answered. And uh, I'll read it out here on RTHD and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll share together. Okay? So... We're going to call it the quality question of the day, or Q squared, right? Yeah, you knew I was coming up with something like that. Absolutely. All right. So, we'll talk more as the show goes, but right now, let's get started with the long version of the serenity prayer, which I shall read at this time. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did this sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life, and supremely happy with you forever in the next. Amen. All right. So here's what I'm going to recommend. I'm going to recommend that you break out your handy dandy notebook, a utensil used for writing purposes, open up to a brand spanking new page, and uh, we'll still call this into action, right? You can call it your into action notebook so that we can, yes, dive into action. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change up. We're going to flip the order. We're going to go over the Q squared first, the quality question first for today. And, of course, we will continue with gratitude because I have found it important to me uh, that I go over at least something I'm grateful for each and every day. And you might be benefiting from that as well. So I want to keep that intact. We're just going to flip it. Flip it, if you will, the order. Okay, so here we go. These shows might be a little bit quicker, and I, I know that might not be a bad thing, right? All right, so here we go with today's Q squared quality question. This question to us or for us today comes from a viewer. I'll go over people's first name and last initial, or if they want their first and last name, I can do that, or if they don't want any name, that's fine as well. So this question is from Lisa P. I want to thank Lisa for this first question uh, for the beginning of Season 5, Episode 1. And by the way, this is 81 straight days of 81 straight episodes. Giddy up. You heard me? Well, I'm with you, homie. All right, here we go. It's two quick parts to this question. Uh, part 1. Uh... What is Road to Happy Destiny to you, or for you, meaning me, okay? What is R-T-H-D for me, okay? And what I have come up with is this. Basically, for me, R-T-H-D, Road to Happy Destiny, a Road to Happy Destiny means this. It means that uh, I am going through and trying to have a lifestyle change, Okay, just like when somebody uh, goes on a diet and they lose, they lose weight and people say, well, what did you do? Well, I did this, I did that. But to maintain, I've got to go really through a lifestyle change. So RTHD uh, is a lifestyle change for me because I'm doing things differently than I have in the past. Um, it's, it's progress, not perfection, right? I, I mean, you know, I'm working on it each and every day, but I'm trying to go through uh, basically a life change. Okay, basically, in essence, shrink it down, a change in my behavior. So, for example, here's, a, here's an easy one, right? So if I'm in traffic uh, and somebody kind of cuts me off, uh, and normally I would 
throw my hands up or honk or maybe, you know, shout out something through the glass that maybe they, or probably they can't even hear, um, and getting myself, my heart rate going on all that, uh, just kind of saying, you know what, is this really that big of a deal? Can I just calm myself and you know what, it's going to be over in just a few shakes of a lamb's tail, so let's not get all worked up about it. So really, for me, RTHD has been a lifestyle change, and those that are following uh, the things that we have discussed in the first 80 episodes, um, you know, perhaps you're changing your lifestyle, your behaviors as well. Part two is, uh, why do you do the show? <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a good question. Uh, first of all, because I love it. That's the reason why I do this show. But more importantly than that, Okay, and the number one reason is because for me, it's an every single day reminder of this lifestyle change that I am practicing. On, this, uh, chain, on these changes in behavior that I am practicing. You know, when they say, uh, you know, somebody's, uh, oh, I'm a lawyer, I've been practicing law for X number of years. Or I'm a doctor, I've been practicing medicine for X number of years, right? Because it's always work, it's always practicing to get better. Well, you know, that's what I'm trying to do here each and every day is get myself better. And, you know, if through this process I'm helping at least one other person or multiple people, you know, Jimmy cracked corn and that's the greatest news I could possibly hear. But it's just an everyday reminder for me uh, that this is how I want to live my life now. You know, and for the past 80 episodes and for the couple of weeks prior to actually starting these episodes, I've, I've made the decision that I want to be on a road to happy destiny, which is why I named the show that, okay, and why I like to, you know, shrink it down to RTHD, because that sounds pretty cool, doesn't it? All right, gratitude. So I guess right now in your notebooks, if you want to, you know, if you want to write down um, how you're living RTHD uh, or why you watch the show, that would be great to put down in your notebook. I'm doing this a lot today, but that's all right. That's okay, because, you know, I'm winging these episodes. Um... And so, gratitude, you want to jot down what you're grateful for today. What I'm grateful for today is this. You know, I'm grateful for the opportunity uh, to have been working the last three days. You know, I worked on Wednesday, I worked on Thursday, I'm working, I worked today, okay? Uh, so I'm grateful for that. I'm also grateful for the fact that I do have options, you know? I have a couple of options of some, some larger things that I want to do, uh, possibly beginning really, really soon. Um, and I do have some choices to make uh, in that area. Uh, I've also got some, some other fun, fun type of options that I'm working on right now for me personally uh, that I'm very, very excited about. And, uh, you know, I I'll share that with you as it unfolds. But uh, so that's my, what am I gra grateful for today? What is my gratitude in today? Uh, I'm grateful for, I've been working the past few days and uh, I'm grateful for options that, I might have in some job opportunities uh, and career opportunities, uh, and I'm grateful for some personal uh, options that I may be uh, embarking upon in just the near future. So anyway, that's what our program is going to be for uh, this episode, episode one of season five, and for the next 19 episodes as we go through our episode five, excuse me, season five, episode 20, uh, one through 20 like that, okay? So, hey, I need for you to send in some questions, okay? Um, you can email me, cgm3thebear at yahoo.com. You can text me, 504-400-2337, okay? Um, or you can call me at that same number. And uh, look forward to hearing your questions. Uh, if not, I guess I'm just going to have to make them up. But uh, thank you, Lisa, for your, Lisa P., for your question today. And I hope you guys like this. I think it's going to be great. Uh, I'm looking forward to all this audience participation. Hey, have a great weekend. Have a great rest of the day this Friday. Love you all so much. Peace. <laughs>